Good morning, traders. Welcome to this video on the euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. Before we dive into the markets, be aware of this special offer from our partner Axie Trader. If you start uh, with an account with Axie Trader, you get uh, access to uh, three months of ECS Live and the London Open Advanced EA uh, for three months as well. So check out the description box uh, in below to see the link and click on the link to get more information about this offer. All right, this is the euro dollar and we've seen an upside uh, since the interest rate decision from the US yesterday to de cut the rate by a quarter percent and uh, price moving up and bouncing at the 21 EMA. So we had a bounce at the 144, now a bounce at 21, as I mentioned last time, and we see bullish candles. Uh, basically, the bullish candles are getting bigger. There's wicks at the bottom and the candle closes are quite near the high, indicating I think that the bulls are in control and a bullish continuation starting to become uh, very likely at this point. And in fact, I could put back the fib that I had originally, which was basically the fact that this could still be a wave four at the 50 fib. So that is very much in play at this moment, specifically after the break of uh, this trend line and also the break of the weekly pivot point. And uh, now price in full motion after yesterday's bullish candle. There was a dip lower, but ultimately the buyer stepped in here, as you can see, big pin bar, on the hourly chart and big bullish pressure in fact so that uh, sent the euro dollar up now not hundreds of pips but still a good 60 pips which is a lot for the euro dollar uh at this uh, current environment so what we're looking at i think is a, a probably wave one two and this could be a wave three for the moment that's what i'm thinking i think it looks bullish to me at least so if we put a, a fib uh, let's see from this wave three for the moment if this is a completed wave three we don't know for sure yet but if this is wave one, two, one, two, this could be three. So I would expect price to respect any of these fibs, the 23, the 38, the 50 fib. 50 fib would be very last fib. That's 111.25. So if it gets there, I think those are good levels for bounces. Even here, this could still be on a lower degree. Let's take a look at the 50 minute chart. Uh, I just, it, well, it was bouncing here, so it made sense. Now it seems to be going lower. So I would probably at this moment, think that the 23.6 fib is probably the next logical bouncing spot uh, there could make sense or the 50 fib and or the 38 any of these three fibs all three of course keep an eye on risk management uh, so that you know the entire trade is not over risking but all of that makes sense to me considering the bullish candle yesterday i um you know see today as very bullish probably tomorrow as well unless today is some massive bearish reversal candle stick that would totally in you know, close all the way down here or something like that, then yes, there would be a massive wick closing the low and then yesterday's bullish candle would be uh, invalidated and would not be relevant anymore. But unless that happens, which doesn't seem that likely, uh, we're definitely in bullish environment today, tomorrow, the rest of this week, basically. All right, now today is the last day of October. And the last day of a month always does bring some volatility. So there could be some deeper retracement. So from that point of view, if I had to choose a FIB, I would probably say, you know, my view, uh, it, it could be kind of volatile uh, because, of it's a, because of the fact that it's the last day. Ultimately, though, after the volatility maybe disappears, I would expect price to continue higher, though. So some kind of triangle pattern uh, could happen, uh, or sorry, zigzag could happen. But ultimately, I expect buyers to step in 111.50, 111.25 to push this higher. How much higher? Well, basically, for the moment, I think uh, 112.50 obviously is around level. Let's put a fit back on this this swing. 111.25 is one target. 111, sorry, 112.25, excuse me, 112.50 and 113. Those are the targets for the moment. It could even go to 113.60, 114 if it's very, very momentum, big momentum. So for the moment looking like uh, a wave five could continue and if we see a flag after that that could indicate a wave four and maybe one more push for another wave five if it's that bullish though of course that remains to be seen pound dollar uh is also starting to look a little bit more bullish because this correction is choppy slow and uh, therefore represents more a pattern such as a wave four than a reversal pattern right let me recap it was looking at like that it was looking like price would be completing an ABC correction, hitting this resistance zone and flying lower to confirm the reversal. That hasn't happened yet, right? Nothing uh, of the sort. Price 
It's not flying down. It's not reversing. I don't see any uh, bearish candlestick patterns here that would indicate that the bears are back fully in control. Plus, we had a massively strong upside. So these two aspects are really making uh, the up upside also more likely, just like with the euro dollar. This is looking like a wave four, and price broke above the 20 minute again. And which is why with ECS Live, uh, we're already in the trade uh, to the upside. In fact, Nana already took it, made some profit on it. SWAT is still in it and uh, aiming for higher uh, highs. So uh, now we are getting into a zone that is could be considered resistance, obviously, 129.50, 130. So we'll have to see how price responds to that. Uh, and But if it breaks through that, obviously, look for flag after that and continuation higher to 132, 132.50. Uh, if it uh, moves up, but retraces then i still think that the 21 ema could be a bouncing spot as well i would stay bullish really as long as price stays for the moment above 128.50 128 even uh that is still support and still likely bouncing spots so i'm not sure how price is going to respond in this zone i would like to see a breakout not sure if we're going to get that right away but if, if i see a pattern or pullback likely i think to uh to get a follow through to the upside for the moment on the pound dollar now at least to 130. I'm not sure what will happen 130. It could also be at 130 that price makes this, right? Some ABC correction and just goes flat and sideways until uh, the new elections that are coming up in uh, in the UK on the 12th of December, I think. It just makes ABC flat. But for the moment, the move up to 130 seems likely. Then we'll have to see how price responds to that 130. Don't forget to get our free indicators, by the way, on this page. Also, if you're interested in my methods, uh, new strategies, indicators are coming up, new book, SWAT book, and new SWAT EA are all coming up uh, soon. So check out that link. And of course, if you're interested in live trading analysis and such, then check out ECS Live Trading. We just finished the second year. So keep an eye on the blog post on the upcoming Saturday, this Saturday, two days from now. Uh, where we explain all the results and the stats from uh, the ECS live trading.